Hello, my name is Ashley Coons. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I package my paintings once they've sold. So I sold two paintings last night on my Etsy shop, which is uh, www.etsy.com backslash shop backslash Ashley Coons Art. Just putting that out there. Um, but I sold two of my paintings, so I want to show you how I package them to make sure that they're secure and safe for shipping. So if you're interested in that, please stay tuned. If you're not interested in that, please check out my other videos. Let's get started. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to just move a few things over here. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is print off your packing slips from Etsy. Um, I printed mine off. I'm blocking out all the um, sensitive information. So I've printed that off. And then I also printed off um, a shipping slip so that I have the address available when I go to um, the shipping place. So these are the two paintings that sold. There's one. And then there's this one. So they match very well. Nice job coordinating. Um, the first thing I'll do is check my paintings to make sure that my signature is on them, which it is down there, to make sure I have labeled the painting, put the year that it was created, and um, A. Coons, sorry, went a little off camera. And then I make sure that I've got it wired for hanging, which I do. So that one's good. Set that to the side. All right, so the next one, same deal. There's my signature there. On the edge, we have the title, the year, and A. Coons. And then this one also is ready for, um, is ready for hanging. And then um, during December, I'm running a special where if you buy anything off of my shop, I give you a free gift. So since this person purchased two paintings, I'm going to give her two gifts just because that's how I roll. So I have this little painting here. And again, check for the signature, the title, year, and my name. Wired for hanging. We're good to go. And then I chose this necklace because I thought it worked really well with the colors in the bigger paintings that she chose. So set that off to the side as well. Um, other things that I like to have handy when I'm in a ship, roll of packing tape, um, the tape measure, some thank you stickers, some candy, seasonal. I have my business cards, a brochure, and then a thank you card that also features my artwork. And then markers to write in the thank you card. And then I have some plastic wrap because I'm going to wrap the paintings in plastic to protect them from weather and stuff. And then cardboard box. So I buy really big boxes that you haul, as you can see. So we're gonna cut this up and we're gonna make some custom boxes for this um, thing. And then I do usually have a box cutter and a scissors, which I'm gonna go grab because I don't have them right here on my table. Okay, and then the box cutter and the scissor is right here. So we're going to move all this off to the side again because I don't need it at this exact moment. We're going to start with wrapping the paintings in plastic and securing that. All right, so when I ship two paintings at one time, if they're the same size, I will end up putting them face to face during shipment. Um, part of the reason is uh, because that way then the face of the painting isn't on the cardboard part of the box. So if somebody were to actually accidentally puncture it, they hopefully won't puncture through to the paintings. But for wrapping in plastic, I do want a barrier layer in between them. So I buy this plastic wrap at um, like a hardware store. You can get it usually in like the paint section. And it's a very large sheet, so let's see if I can unwrap it seamlessly. There we go. So I'm going to put it on my plastic like that and make sure I have enough to have that barrier layer between the two paintings. And then I'm going to tuck it in and make sure it's nice and secure in there. 
I'm gonna actually move this down a bit in my plastic so it's a bit more centered. Okay, and then I put the other one on top of it like so. Now, since I have free gifts in this, I want to make sure that my free gifts and all my business cards and marketing material end up in the plastic. So we're going to put the brochure in. And that, I'm going to write a quick thank you card. Let's see the name. Okay, so we'll write out our thank you card. Make sure I'm writing on the right side. Okay, so in my card, I just wrote um, the person's name and I wrote, thank you so much for your purchase. I hope these look lovely in your home. Love Ashley, P.S. Enjoy the gifts. And now, if I can pick that up, we'll put the envelope or the card in the envelope. And we're gonna seal that with a thank you sticker. My thank you stickers, I just bought a whole bunch of them off of Sheen or Shane, whatever you, however you say it. Um, and then I'm going to want to wrap all of my promotional marketing materials in plastic as well. I'm gonna just make a little pouch for them. So I cut off some plastic here. business cards, my brochure, and we'll put some candy in there too. Okay, now we're just going to fold that up like that. And I'll tape it right here. And then I'm going to tape the edges down too so that everything stays intact. Kind of hard to do this when I'm filming, but we'll get it. Here, flip it over. Okay, there's one side. And I'm going to just cut off this little bit of extra here because it's being difficult, as that sometimes happens. Okay. And once again, I'm going to put the tape back here and we will fold it over and make sure the edges are nice. And there we go. We made a little plastic pouch to keep all of our important stuff safe. I'm going to tape it down inside of the canvas, just um, hopefully so it doesn't move around too much in shipping. Then we have our little necklace that we're going to have to wrap up. So I'll take just a little bit more plastic. I like to wrap stuff like this in plastic just because um, I make the boxes custom. And so like they're really fun, they're spray painted, look kind of like a galaxy. And so I don't want the pretty part of the box to get ruined. So that's why we're making a little custom pouch for it. So when I tape this down, I don't end up ruining the box. to mess with it quite so much. Okay. Like that part. Okay. 
and cut this excess off. Okay, I'll show you how I folded that in. So I'm just folding those two parts in, this triangle, and then this one over like that. And I'm just taping it like so. And then I'm going to just tape this. Probably a little bit up here. And we'll slap a little thank you sticker on that as well. Now we have this painting. So ideally I want to make sure that it's going to fit in the frame and it's not going to be too heavy to be sitting here because I don't want it to push on the other side of the canvas. And I think that this will be just fine as long as I keep it right up here in the corner where it's already very well secured. So let's find a little bit of plastic to wrap this in as well. I think that this is going to be too skinny by far. Yep. So we're just going to cut off a little bit more plastic. ready here too. Okay. I try to make it look as nice and clean as I can, but honestly, Sometimes it's hard to go for absolute perfection because there's only so much time in the day to do stuff like this. Um, but I do think that this looks pretty good. Okay, so now we have that fully wrapped in plastic. It's ready to be secured. Just slap a thank you sticker on it. And this one I'm going to try to tape to the frame without getting onto the canvas. So there's that. And then I'm just going to put a piece of tape in here to secure it on this end as well. So that really shouldn't move around. Um, if it does, uh, it'll still be okay. It's not going to ruin anything. I'm going to get one more thing. Okay, so now that we've got all of our promotional materials and our gifts all packaged up in there, it is time to finish wrapping these up. And this is a lot of plastic here, but I am going to actually end up using all of it. I want it to be very secured, as waterproof as it can be. And I'm trying to do my best to make sure that all of it is very tight. Okay. All right. Now we'll go back in with some tape. We have to secure this area with tape. And I find um, it works best if you wrap the tape all the way around, so that way then it doesn't just pop off. So it doesn't stick super well to the plastic on itself. So if you have it going around the edge like that, then it does a way better job of holding. Okay, make sure these are lined up nicely. And I'm going to get a few pieces of tape ready so that I can just put them on as soon as I get the plastic all folded up. That will make life a lot easier. So 
So I'm just folding it in towards the center and pulling it around just like that. So I'm securing it over here on this side and then again on all the way around. And I'm going to do that three times. So I have three pieces of tape here. Make sure that it stays sealed. It's hard to lift it up once it's got the plastic on it. That's nice and tight. get three more pieces of tape. Okay. And we're going to fold that in. Like so make sure that the canvases are lined up nicely. So the goal is you want your box to end up being as small as it possibly can be because the bigger the box the more it's going to cost you to ship but um, in doing that you also want to make sure that you're doing you know what's right for the customer and making sure that their contents are secured and that um, you know their packages get to arrive safely so and one more Okay, so we've got all of that securely wrapped in here. I'm going to set this aside and the next step we're going to do is build a box. Okay, so for the next step for the box, I'm going to take my U-Haul box and I'm going to find the seam on it. And that's where I'm going to be cutting it apart. So I'm using my box cutter and I will just cut along this seam and I might have to do it twice because I'm trying to be careful to not go through on the other side. So we got, I think most of it cut, cut up here at these little tabs. Okay, just need a little bit more down here. And again, be very careful because this is very sharp. <laughs> Okay, so the reason why I cut it apart is because when I package it, I want this blank side to be on the outside. And this is a very big box, so it's going to be kind of hard to show everything. Um, let's just get it up on here. I'll try to keep it as centered as possible as well. So this is our extra large box size. It's a 24 by 18 by 24. So this fits right there very nicely. And so I'm going to try to use the natural seams in the box as much as I can. So right there. And then I'm going to press down and fold the box up right here. So that, um, that will protect that end. And I'm going in for my box cutter real quick. So where I've just made this crease, I'm going to just cut through. Because that will be like a little tab then that will fold in and then I'm going to do the same on this side okay and I find doing that at this point makes it way easier later on and then this is going to have to fold over one more time to make that fold a little bit easier I'm just going to score the box a little bit here and I'm trying to do a really straight line And there we go. So that folds over pretty nice right there. Okay. And then <laughs> we will fold the next part over. And again, just folding that over made this edge right here really nice. And then I'm going to cut this so we can see right there. So I'm going to cut some of this excess off because we don't need this much box. Okay, let's get this extra stuff. 
stuff out of the way. This is quite a process, I know. So where we have this seam over here, we also need to cut a little tab. And we want our tab to be cut all the way up to where the painting is. That's good. And I'll do that on the other side as well. that over, fold all these over, and then the last seam that we have to get is on this end, just like that. Now it's right into place. Now I am going to start taping those ends. And I use a lot of tape in this process, so Continue to take it a couple more just to keep it really nice and secure. And again, I'm going over this side, this edge, and then the back side to make sure that the tape stays put really nicely and securely. Okay, cool. Now we're on to the ends. I'm going to grab my box cutter again because we're going to be cutting off a lot from the ends. So we're going to cut a huge chunk and I'm just guessing how much I think I want to cut off. I'm hoping that I'm getting a good amount here and I see that I didn't cut the tab over here on this side so I'm going to very carefully get a tab going. So you want to find where your painting is in here. I'm kind of just running my nails along it, so hoping that it'll fold over just like that. And then we have this tab, and I can cut some of this excess off. Got a little too much out there. And then we have this tab. Looking good. This needs to be a tab. And I'm just going to cut there. And then we should be able to fold this. And I find that just lifting the whole box works the best at this point to get it kind of nice and tight. I might have to reshape just a little bit down there. There we go. All right. Okay. Good. So now I'm going to cut some of this excess off because we don't quite need that much. I'm going to flip it over. Make sure all my tabs are in there really nice. Okay. Sometimes you got to manhandle the box just a little bit to get it where you need it. Alright, we're going in with tape again. This time I'm going to rip off a few larger strips. <clears throat> and then I'm actually going to score this box with my box cutter right about here because I want this to be even tighter.
I'm going to put the tape on that side. I'm running around and pull it as tight as I can. And we are going to do lots of tape. So don't worry too much about um, it holding at this point. I really just want to get the box shape under control here and secure it. I'm going to pull this off the table just for this next strip of tape because I'm holding it really tight and I don't want to lose that. All right. Part of it's kind of done. Still have a little work to do. So now I want to make sure my painting's pushed all the way in. I know that I can get rid of most of this. So let's get that out of here. I'll do that all the way around. tabs cut it looks like I need to do one over here I might have to lift it up to do this better make sure I'm punching through to the other side there we go and get a tab cut there too okay now we can fold in our tabs a little harder there we go and then fold down one side like that and then we're gonna try to there we go snap that one and this is quite the laborious process I'm not gonna lie this is pretty intense box making. Who would have thought, right? Okay. Now we're going to get some tape. And then fold this over. Grab our first piece of tape. Start it on this side. Pull it really tight. So I like making the custom boxes um, because then I can make them true to size of the painting and um, it costs me less in shipping to make them myself because if I bring them to a shipper, they're going to use a way bigger box. They're going to pad it a lot more, um, but plus then I don't have control over how they're doing it and you know I have no say in whether or not I think it's nice and secure, so that's why I like to do it myself. I just cut off a little excess piece there. So now we're gonna start wrapping all the way around the painting. So I'm gonna start on this end. Pulling that end. And as I go, pulling everything really nice and tight. Looks like on this end, I'm gonna cut off a little bit more of this tab here. That's overhanging. And again, be careful not to cut yourself. It's not worth it. There we go. So, continue my tape. And I'm going to go one more loop around. Not breaking the tape at all. I'd actually do two more loops around. I'm really making sure all of my seams are getting covered completely. Moisture gets in and everything stays put. 
tape got a little messy at that end, but that's okay. Okay, we're gonna cut that off. This part right here, we're gonna start taping this down really good. And I'm gonna do some more. I told you guys I go through all the tape when I do this. But it's for good reason. You know. up really good there. Now I'm going to do a couple strips going this way. So there we have it. We've got two paintings plus the painting freebie plus the necklace freebie plus the candy and the brochures and all of that. And now this is ready to go to the shipper. I will bring my um, packing slip with me so that I can get a label printed for it. I could do that at home, but honestly, I feel like I trust the shipping companies more. Um, I can go through and get some quotes on UPS, USPS, and FedEx. Um, I would just measure my package. So this one, I'm going to round it up to 22. This one, I'll round up to 22 as well. And we'll say a four inch depth. So now I can just go online and check prices and see where I can find the best deals so I can get this shipped out. But anyway, I'll turn you back up to me here. <laughs> a little more <clears throat> okay so thank you for watching i hope you learned something um check out my other videos and make sure you like and subscribe and i'll be seeing you soon bye